Oh, so that... Oh! I thought that was just a port, but no. That's where we're gonna land. Oh, shit. The plane looks... Looks like the Sonic 2. Hey, it's true! <laughs> it's the Sonic plane from Sonic 2. Dude, we should have been down already. Oh! Mayday! Mayday! What are you doing, Sid? What the hell? Look at this crazy asshole! Look how he lands his plane. We would all be dead now. That, that's not how it works, guys. You need to go like this. Like, not like this. Not, not, not going like... And yeah, it's true, Amon. In the third game, we'll have our own airship. Oh. Hey, Sephiroth, wait up. Bring me the black materia. Huh? No, I'm having an episode. Yeah. Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. Whoa, summon entity Odin. So that's the next that, that's the next one, huh? Okay. Hi Pudgy. I got the notification again, I can't believe this. Your boy Almond rang the bell for us. But 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 I am there's notification. But what do you mean? I, I always Ooh, that that's a beautiful bird. But I, I always put it on Discord, the the thing, the the pink to everyone. It's, it's the only thing that I do on my Discord. It's the ping for everyone whenever I start streaming. What the hell is this? I... What? I, I know that this is a sneaking mission, but... Oh, that's Chocobo Bait! Chocobo Bait, Chocobo Bait, Chocobo Bait. Oh, you know what? Maybe I don't have to go there. Maybe I need to make the bird come to me. You can see the way that the Chocobo needs to progress. Okay. Alright, let's see. Ah, shit. Hi, Divis. Not even EVs? I'll think about it. Maybe. There's a very high possibility that the answer is yes. Oh, I, I better. Oh! I better be careful. Minigame checkpoint updated. Come on, Cloud. Go, 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 go! Yeah. Hey, hold up. Almost, one more. Go! Nice, nice. Go, Chocobo, go! Before your ass gets prickled. Oh, I see. I see how this is. I think if you only marry Arnold Schwarzenegger, and, and she should. I would totally marry Arnold. You know, I am very lucky that the Chocobo does not move. He just stands there. Imagine if I had to keep throwing. 
Come on, you bitch. Hurry up. There you go. Go. Go, bird. Go. Quick. Hey. Woo! He was about to get prickled. Come on. Go! Damn, I'm so lucky that Cloud is a good thrower. Oh no, he's not in a good position. Oh shit. Oh, a little bit further. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, go there. I think it's safe. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, go. Nice. Oh. Okay, go. Come on, you choco fuck. Oh. It's fine, it's fine. We're almost there, we're almost there. I just need to make sure that the chocobo doesn't die. Come on. Damn, dude, this minigame sucks. <laughs> dude, we have to wait for so long. There has to become a triangle shape. No, I will never be a triangle shape thingy. Romance thingy. That's why I play my video games. Come on. This is it! Go! Go, Chocobo! Nice, nice. Alright, one more. And, th and that's it. Chocobos are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go quickly. Nice. Now what I'm gonna do? I I'm gonna send them like a little bit further in, like here. All right. I got him. I got his ass. Oh. 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 Got it! That was too easy. Dude, and this is a beautiful bird. Look how beautiful his collar is. I'm gonna call him Blue. The Featherer Wave Runners. While the bodies of water, hold L2 to launch yourself high into the air with the Choco. <laughs> so, okay. The Choco Jet ability. Note that you can also use a stunted version of this ability while on land. A stunted version? Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, so I found this place yesterday. There you go. It's just like a little farm. A little farm, uh, like in between the mountains. And there's a side quest here, and for some reason, Chally was also here. Hey, look, there's like a pool that's all green and disgusting. God knows huh? why. Cloud? Wait, what? I thought this was, it was an Billy? old man. Billy what are you doing out here. Yeah, how uh, did you get here? I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of the Chocobo Sage, a living legend. Surely you've heard of the man. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say living legend? Why is he dressed like a like an idiot?
It's Roshi. You okay, sir? A living legend. Oh, ah. I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? I don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Dude, look at his mustache. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that. So I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not. I I'm gonna win the Gold Cup easily. Picking by the way. garbage out of a pool isn't training. It's manual labor. You see? No, too, Yuffie. Right? Wax on, wax off. The man's not a sage. The sage is the real deal. Um, you know, what? I'm gonna say that the sage is the, is the real deal because he has a cool chocobo outfit, and only a sage would be able to wear a chocobo outfit like that and actually pull pull it off. But yeah. What? If anyone was gonna get it, figures it'd be you. Yeah, exactly. This man Billy. right here wrote the book on chocobo rearing. In fact, pretty much all the major breeds maintained these days are products of his techniques. If you Dude, he looks so gums, old that I think he invented writings. Now get on back to your training. Sorry. As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. I got her. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for Rainbow. But I got her. Once. A bird that runs on water? I already found him. Ah, there you go. There you are, Selena. Well, I Well, the bird was not right there <laughs> the whole time. It's real skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it. This is gonna bother me all day. Oh. Aha. There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? Sam. They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying. You, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about him. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. <sighs> the Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see... I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave, got them hooked on gambling, pushed them to rack up tons of debt, and then. That don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the gold cup, destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh, oh, damn, he's being called out. For your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <laughs> Why not? He sold. <laughs> As long as he pays us before he dies. Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you. And then panacea. So, and That's how you I say it. Cured, me 
maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. I thought it was Panacea. <sighs> Panacea. He's or Panas. full of it. It's Panacea, huh? Him, then please do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above okay. water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. Very oh, it's those flowers it. that we saw. Best hop to it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you? <laughs> All right, but is it only one? He only wants one? Because there's a bunch of them going around. Huh. Okay. And a remedy. A useless, useless remedy. You know, I barely use items in this game. So whenever I find healing items, I just get a little bit disappointed. I'm like, oh, really? All right, you know what? Yeah. L let's go talk to the Choco guy, man. I'm wasting way too much time doing this. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh, okay, well, tornado. It's on you. All set. Here, Woo, nice. Can you take over? Hang back. Oh, wrong guy. For you. Try this. You're done. Get ready. Yeah. One more shot. Damn, these zoos have so much health. Finish it. Come on. There you go. Nope. Nope. Sloppy, I don't think so. Nope. There. Easy. Choke him up. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that sound at all. Hey, old man, got oh, it. Oh, you get your hands on that choco grass? I did. Here, all the choco grass. Well, well. If it ain't my beloved choco grass, this stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? Why didn't you ask <laughs> Billy, though? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly cheeky old... What? What do you do with Speaking it? Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please, tell me about my father. Hold your chocobo, son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you jack. Face it, kid. You got a lot of nerve. Casting aspersions after all the wisdom I've shared. Aspersions. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. He's right. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid trial. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. Cloud is always ready and for it. All right, Selena let's go. Your steed. If Cloud wins... Does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. All right, let's do it right now. 
You prepared to undertake the final trial? Yes. Lay it on me. Beat the Chocobo Sage. Yes. He's an old man. We're gonna win easily. Oh, it's actually a race. Oh, it's gonna be a Chocobo race. All right, let's do it. Cool. You haven't seen me do a Chocobo race in a long time, huh? What? Oh, wrong button! <laughs> I was pressing R2 to accelerate, but that, that's, the, the, that's the wrong button. Oh my god, I don't remember the buttons. Alright, there I go, found it. Okay, now I remember. Oh wait, wrong way! What the fuck? <laughs> wrong way! I'm coming for you, old man. How do I... Oh, there you go. I shoot him. Alright, let's go this way this time. Oh. We got this guy. Oh, do we? Yes, we do. Such a big ass curve. Oh no. Oh yeah. I thought I fucked up. And there you go. There you have it. That was too easy. Look how far behind he is. Choco armband. Look my ever loving feathers. That was one hell of a performance. If I didn't know better, I'd say this wasn't your first rodeo. It, it really isn't. Surprise. Well, shoot. You got me good. And once you start tearing up the track out there, the racing world will blame me for letting you loose. I, I am the real promise, sage. Sir. Can't you see Please my hair? tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right, then. What do you want to know? Uh, what were they doing here? When were, when were they here? What were they doing here? Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. Ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. And when were they here? Let's it's probably see. when they were kids, like they 30 years ago or something. They couldn't have been older than you are now. The two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. And what were the two of them like? I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words and with their fists. That said, the only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. 
That's it? That's all you're gonna ask? Alright. That seems kinda weird. How you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself and clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? Exactly. I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why you'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Well, what, what the hell did yourself, Sam do, though? Why did I decide to start raising chocobos? I guess... I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun. And brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important. So don't forget yours. I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. On your own? Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. Ba -ba 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 I have no idea how he got here on his own, by the way. There are monsters everywhere. Like, for me to get here, I had to go by plane. Like, he has money to to pay for a plane ticket? There you go. The Moogles are always in. They're fucking a pain in my ass. So this should be the last one, right? Hopefully, I'll also get an achievement for doing this. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Imagine if the door was locked and I couldn't go in. Please bring back all the mooglets for me, Koopo. She's such a bad mom. Okay, here we go. Take this! Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> hey, bad touch, bad touch! Oh, shit. Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh! Okay, there you go, there you go. Good, good, good. Yes, yes. Go in! Oh! Oh my god, I'm surrounded by bananas. Go! Oh, there you go, that's one. Okay, it's this guy's turn. Alright, this one is much easier. Nice, nice, good, good, good. Oh, you almost got me. Alright, you know what? Fuck, fuck this thing. Let's go. What? There you go. Two more. Oh, these guys are, are tag teaming. Oh my lord. Go on. Oh no! Oh! Over here. Nice. All right, now the only the bomb one. I'll get him. I'll get him. This guy ain't shit. That's it. Oh! How about this? Come on! There you go. Woo! I didn't get hit a single time. This night game is basically the monkey minigame in Metal Gear Solid 3. Yeah, yeah, that's basically it. You're a true hero. Every single I am. emporium is once again open for business, Koopo. It 
was Mog and Mag's hope that these special shops would bring happiness to folks all throughout the world, Koopo. And that dream lived on, passed down to their children and their children's children, and so on, for countless generations. One day, these Mooglets will inherit that legacy, like those before them. Oh, before I forget, I have a super duper amazing present for you to thank you for all your help. You're gonna love it. Koopo? Koopo? Oh, I, I, I got turned into a Moogle? Oh no. Wait, Cloud is happy? Koopo. Go on now. Be good hosts and show our guests how it's done. <laughs> Cloud, I think Cloud should be a little bit more against this. Come on, Cloud, you can do it. The wings, Cloud, flap the wings, flap the wings! There you go, see? Koopo! <laughs> Why does he sound like a pervert? Oh, Koopo! <laughs> so stupid. Oh, Koopo! Imagine this game in French. Koopo! Koopo Koopo! So what did you think? Not Bullshit! Koopo? Not bad? <laughs> okay. It, it would be cool if now we had like a little skill to... Ooh, an achievement! It would be cool if I had like a skill to transform oh, into a, a Moogle. Achievement! The and I will continue our efforts to spread joy all over the world. Also, we found a bunch of rare and exotic items you won't want to miss out on. Come see for yourself, Koopo! I will! Alright, let's do it! Lay it on me! Thanks for coming to our Moogle Emporium! So, I want this... And I want this. The Moogle Amulet. Increases the, the probability enemies will drop items. Okay. And that's it, right? Yeah. I got all the, the Moogle things. Did you find anything you like, Koopo? Alright, see you, Moogle. Just follow the road. Just follow the road. <gasps> there it is! Oh, shit. How can it be? It's fully reconstructed. Wait, what? I thought. Sephiroth destroyed the town. How can it be up? Yeah, the low textures, it's crazy. <laughs> the low it's, resolution on those textures. It's brand new. They rebuilt the whole village. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. <clears throat> <laughs> again. I mean, <laughs> I thought he got us lost. Because it looks different. So, who do you think we built it? Yeah, who do you think, Barrett? Come on. Shinra. Who do you think it was? Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to find. Damn, look at this. And that's Cloud's house right there on the left. 
A lot of robes out here. Yeah. And look. Locals. A lot of locals. That's not our mom. Maybe they aren't quite the same, are they? Hello there. Can I help you? Greetings, good sir. I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... My bodyguards. I used to live here until, you know. I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Uh, five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. Eh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know if I like this change. Like, in the original, people would just pretend that the town has always been like this. That there's no... no one... Take all the time. No one says that there was an accident back in the day, they just ignore it. They, they tell us that we are crazy, that the village was always here, blah blah blah, nothing happened. Now, now that people are actually acknowledging it, and I'm... I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I agree with that change. Because it kind of changes the feel of the whole place, you know. Yeah, let's go check our house. Well now, who might you be? Ah, uh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Uh, in that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef, hmm? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. In the original, Nibelheim was just a cover-up story, right? Yeah. Every everyone just pretended that the how like the, the, the town was always like this. Like there was no fire, there was no destruction, there was no rebuild. But here they, they change it. Those poor folks have got it hard enough already. Mako poisoning? Yep, I'm no expert, but seems to me that there's two types of it. Hmm, or maybe two types of patients? We give them sponge baths sometimes, and that's when I first saw. Lots of them have these number tattoos, that, and needle marks on their arms. At least I think they are, although we do get the odd one that doesn't seem to have either. Wait. That makes it three types, then. Or four? What needle marks? From their treatments, if I had to guess. And the numbers? Got any idea what they mean? Not a clue. Certainly gets the gears in your head turning, though, doesn't it? Oh! Uh, hello! Whoa! Sorry, There's a guy talking to the ladder! Why is this guy talking to the ladder? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I think I just found an affair happening in real time. Oops. Right now, I, I want to find Tifa. I'm not sure why that is myself. Maybe it's to mark ones with different symptoms. Tifa. You know. Yeah. Hmm? I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? 
fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, anger doesn't last. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Good. Sounds good. Jesus. Imagine living in a in a place like this. Oh, it's Zack! <gasps> Did you see that? They're everywhere you look. You don't really think that all these guys decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Of course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta true. do something, right? Yeah. You're right, screw them. It's true. Hell yeah, you're right. Screw them. That's the spirit. Screw them. We'll make them pay for what they did to y'all's home. Nice. <laughs> Barrett's my homie, man. He, 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 he has my back. Question. This always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So, let's give yeah. the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, That's what a ladder just... does. Wait! It's too dangerous for you. You're just a girl. To look at this place, you'd never know. Yeah. Hey, this is this is Tifa's special place. So, which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there, Tifa's house. So let me guess, this is where you kept lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? Um I'm going to say no way. 
What? No way. I, I never yeah, do that. no, 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 no way. <laughs> No way I would ever do, 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 do that. I'm gonna head down. Think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. See ya. Whoa. Careful, Cloud. Don't fall. Alright, let's go up. Let's go follow Zach. See what the hell's going on. Oh shit, we're having an episode. Oh, we're about to have an episode. So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What? Not interested? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. She's real pretty. No, beautiful. Kind of depends on the angle. Hmm. She's just great to be around. She from Midgar? Yep, real city mouse. Zach. Did you remember? Zach Fair. From Gungaga. Over heels for Aerith. We fought together as soldiers. He's remembering. You were here with me five years ago. What the hell? But it's too early for this. I can't believe that he actually remembered Zack. That's that's crazy. I wasn't expecting that. Like now, it's too early in the story. Uh, it's cool that he's that this is happening now, but still. So he remembers Zack, but he kind of remembers it. But his brain is Swiss cheese at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just surprised that it happened. Like right now. I can't believe this. Oh. What is it? Uh, don't tell me. That one is broken, and we have to go to the reactor to find I it. Have known it was too good to be true. I only to find like a new, a new thingy. From this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Oh. Don't you have okay. clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom. Me. I'm just a cat. <laughs> it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the deputy commissioner? Or the commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki is up at the reactor, conducting an inspection uh, for corporate. Of course He's he is. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but... He hasn't been in touch to confirm. Yeah, of course Could he is. Could be he needs more time. Well, I'm not surprised. Uh, we can't afford to dilly dally. Then we'll just have to track him down. Agreed. Sure. Thanks for all the help, pal. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go up to the thing. All right, everybody. So, you're We're going to up. The reactor, huh? Yes, we are. Sadly. Headed to the reactor. No luck at town hall, I take it. Hmm. Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the God damn Murasaki. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Me too. Really? You sure? <laughs> Whoa, no Aerith? anyone around here. I'm the best there is. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. No tough gonna be. Wait, why don't we all you'll go? You'll still be gone for a while. I'm sure there's nothing you need to take care of? I'm putting you in charge of provisions. And make it snappy. My materia needs me. We're going right now. Chop chop. You bridge just went in, you know. Might shave some time off the trip. Sounds like a plan. Good. To good. Make. Perfect. All right. Reactor word ho! 
Wow, so this is basically a, a full melee party. That's pretty cool. Well, I guess Yuffie is a hybrid. <gasps> Sir, we've received word about the Nibelheim survey team. It appears they were ambushed. No, oh, no. By Wu Tai. <laughs> Indeed, and so it begins. Really? We're gonna be fighting Mutai? Well, Mutai. Wutai people? Hurry it up already! That the new bridge I see up ahead? Hmm? What, this way? Alright, follow Tifa. Tifa knows the way. Huh. So this is the new bridge? I like the other way better. It was prettier. Isn't this it? Wait! Oh wait, look at this! Is it for me? Oh, it's for Tifa! Oops. Oh, it's magic gloves. What a shame. It, it's okay, but eh. And besides, we have Yuffie with us, so she she can take care of the element part. Oh, that's where oh. That's where we ended up after the the wood bridge collapsed. Wait, what? He's in fate's hands now. Wait! Zack was the one? What is it? Zack was the one that that got what like here. thrown what by the that? by the river? Oh. Not thrown, pulled by the river. Bridge broke. He fell, got swept away by the current. Yeah, swept away. That's what, that's uh, what I wanted to say. Dead. No, but it wasn't Zan. You never forgot, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. Didn't want to upset you. That's all. No, that's bullshit. It wasn't Zach. It was the other guy, the other dude. Zach was my friend. Right? How could I just forget him like that? Degradation. It's hollowing me out, bit by bit. You're wrong. You remembered, Cloud. It'll be okay. It will. I know it. Thanks. I gotta tell Aerith about this. She deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Hey! Are you two done yet? Yep. Be right there. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? I don't like that. Why? I, I don't understand why we, we have to keep this between us, but sure. Sure, whatever. <coughs> Look, it's these guys again. I'm dying here. Let's not waste any time. They become pressured during screech. <laughs> Ow, oh shit. Let me handle this. <laughs> no, leave him alone! Oh shit! Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh no, what the fuck, man? 
<laughs> at least they don't blow up. Alright, Tiva. Hold up, Tiva. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can you use thunder on this guy? Oh. I wonder if I can find some of the material that I found in the demo. I, I don't think so. Yeah, not likely. Nah, I don't. Nah. Should we just beeline it to where we need to be? Oh, wait! <gasps> Maybe there is some hidden material around here. A Mako Spring. Wait, so this whole thing's materia? Wow, it's so much bigger. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. Hey, we should get out of here. All this Mako is making me queasy. Yeah, me too. Dude, he was- he said exactly what Sephiroth said, like, five years ago. Listen to the music, it's like all distorted and shit. That's what she said, it's so much bigger. Don't bully Cloud, man, please. You know, I can't say I've ever taken this route before. Oh yeah? You gonna be okay, you think? Oh yeah, no problem. This is nothing compared to what we got in Wu Tai. Like the massive sculpture. Oh my of God! Jobs. It's a new weapon for me. Uh, dude, I hope it has a bunch of material slots. Like, please. It does have. Yeah. Oh my God! It's it's, it's a full melee weapon. Whoa. Damn, look how cool this sword looks. It's so ridiculous. It's the Monster Hunter sword. Freaking loved the reward. Which was? The chow beans, of course. Got to eat up when we made it to the top. Tell you what, I'll give you some while we finish our climb. That's kind, but you really don't have to. Yeah. Just say you don't want it, Tifa. You don't have to, like, Walk around the subject. You know, this was supposed to be the fastest route. And look at this. This is anything but the fastest route. Ooh, a dragon! Damn, dude, it's that dragon that Sephiroth kills in, in the original one. Too bad. This one is a, a lot smaller, though. Weakness against ice, this is good. Let me see. A carnivorous creature that conceals itself in mountains, in mountainous regions. Its scales are tough as nails, and its claws just as sharp. Given its gargantuan size, it requires vast amount of energy to live, and thus spends the better part of each day hunting for food. Inflicting enough damage will cause it to roar, then become pressured afterwards. Very well. Tiva! Don't let me down! Ta 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 ta! I hold up. You know what? Let me try comments. This is new, a new magic spell that I have. Let me see how cool it looks. Ooh, it has a long cast time. Boom! Damn, Dragon's Dogma! <laughs> oh, go for it, Cloud! Wrong one, Cloud. Wrong one. Ow, it's fine, it's fine. Whoa! Oh! Oh, a hurricane! Bam, 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 out of war. Hang back. Jesus, this guy's good, huh? Come on. 
Come on, get pressured, you son of a bitch. There you go. Jesus. Come on, Yuffie. Die! There you go. He wasn't that tough. Even though we're almost, all of us are almost dead. We ignored stuff like that around here. We focused on the positives, which is defeat. After the defeat of our enemies. Hey, Cloud. I've been yeah. thinking. We're looking for a guy named Murasaki, right? What about it? It's just, uh, his name sounds Utai. I'm sure plenty of your people immigrated to Midgar before the war. Some of their kids and grandkids probably work for Shinra. Oh. Huh. I had never thought about that before. Is this the elevator? Be a way to get down. Oh no, I know this. Only one of these things is the correct one. Alright, it's not gonna be the, the first one, so let's try. We are super close to the boss battle. Wait, there's more down? Oh shit. Okay, it's a lot more complicated. Uh-oh. How do we know which ones will take us to treasure? Alright, let me try this one. I'm sure that the game's not gonna fuck with me. And I'll be able to just retry. Oh shit. Hello! <laughs> well, this is awkward. There you go. There you go. Hey, but that's treasure. There you go, that's good. Let's see. What could it be? A moonstone? Yeah, that sounds okay. Oh, but two of the pipes would go here. So it's that one and... This one. Oh, it's that one that went to the red area. See? Okay. And I'm guessing that the other ones will just bring me to the normal area. I'm assuming. I guess it's not that weird to move to different countries. And it's not like we don't welcome foreigners into Wu Tai either. I mean, take Colonel Lockrock. He and Viceroy Saru are the whole reason we haven't been to government in the first place. In fact, his whole team is made up of nothing but ex soldiers. Such a badass as he decided to give Shinra the finger. Kinda like you. Nothing like me. Yeah, nothing That's like so Cloud. You'd be best buds. Just saying, it's never too late to join the cause. By the way, remember that guy, the, the that one guy that was <laughs> bullying Rufus? So I found out that he he's actually a, a character from the that mobile game. So what do you say? Wanna join up? Uh, Final Fantasy VII you know, Ever Crisis. Really he's the main know. character in that game. The whole gang even. We'll start our own spec ops unit. UV Recon Patrol! Shinra will be afraid to even speak our name. They'll stand in awe of the fair ninja who leads her loyal minions and tremble in fear when they see the wire piece coming in hot. <laughs> People will be banging down the door to buy our film rights. Your stunned silence says more than words ever could. I knew you'd be on board. Please shut up. Yeah, it's, it, it's being a bit too much. Just a little bit too much. Pipe it down. There's gonna be a big scene now, I'm assuming. And a big bench for me to rest. Damn, here it is. You know, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, that was actually fine.
and ninjas from Wutai. <sighs> Which means we're at war? <sighs> but what about my mission? Did command call it off? <sighs> Why didn't anyone tell me? <sighs> Aren't we in the middle of a ceasefire, though? That's what they say. Still, doesn't mean we are. And it makes no difference to them either way. Come on. We gotta find Murasaki. Right. <gasps> oh my god, I just remembered something. Is the boss battle in this place gonna be Roach? Remember, Hojo was doing experiments on Roach. Why'd they do this? No one told you anything? No, nothing! I had no idea they were planning an operation! I should have been here! Should have done something for them. You've done tons for us. Remember that. Whatever. Wow, Cloud's being so supportive. I wonder if it's because he's like remembering stuff. Oh, thank God. Just take the elevator and that's it. Get ready for the worst. Who's there? We're here to help. Oh no, it's a tentacle monster. And it has a, like a vagina on his chest. Uh oh. Diabolic var variants. Ow. Oh, Alright, weakness against against ice. A man-made monstrosity created by the Shunra R&D division. It has since been disposed of for its disobedient and can cannibalic nature. But some specimens escape. Escape the research facility and have undergone unique evolution in the wild. Destroy the tentacles on its right arm and it will pressure it. It will summon a clone once it has taken enough damage. Oh boy, that's bad. That sounds like really bad. That sounds horrible. <laughs> you got me! <laughs> Wait, it's weak against ice, right? Ice ninja too. Uh oh. Alright, right, Cloud. There you go. Wait, what? Did it not work? Come on, pressure, pressure. There you go. Oh, son of a bitch, she ran away. I thought it was gonna get pressured before I had to do anything else. Uh oh. Okay, what is the, the correct one? I'm assuming that one of them is is the, the wrong one, right? Alright, this one's staggered. That's all that matters. Okay, that one's done. Where's the other one? Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, big explosions out of nowhere, of course. Hurry up! 
I don't know if I should use Relentless, Relentless Rush or not. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Shit, shit, shit! I'm coming, I'm coming! Rise and fall! Pa, pa, pa! Oh, is that it? That was it? That was piss easy. We gotta find Murasaki. Dude, Murasaki is dead. Well, that guy is assuming the position. Oh, we used an elevator to go down here, okay. The position! They must have done this. I doubt it. They were shot. <gasps> shot? Check the inside. There might still be survivors. Yeah. <sighs> I don't see anyone. <sighs> Dude, how is it possible that this place still has a bunch of pods with experiments? Down, Cloud. You okay? Don't, don't lose it. Yeah. And this. Huh? Kate Sith? Ah, Yuffie. And where might you be? <laughs> 